One side you have the New York strip, and the other side you have the tenderloin. And this is the tenderloin part of it. Like I said, it's also called filet mignon. And basically this is what it looks like right when the butchers get it. So if you can ever, if you can learn how to do this, I probably, we probably save 25% of the cost on this. And I'll show you, it'll take five minutes to clean it. So basically something that, if the butchers broke this down, this piece of meat probably would have been broken down $120 and it was 80. So it's just kind of a good tip to, to do. Um, and if you guys want to gather, it's up to you. You can, if you can see, or if you want to. <laughs> You know what's funny, you guys usually are the first ones up to gather when you're cleaning meat in here. I don't know why, but they, uh, they seem to do it. Okay. okay, so basically this is it. This is the tenderloin here that comes down on that one side of, um, of the porterhouse. This piece that's right here is what we call the chain. This piece has a lot of connective tissue in it, it's uh, a lot of sinew. Uh, you can use that, you can like stew it for a long time for something like pot roast in the restaurants. We sometimes use it for braised meat, if you ever hear a braised beef. It's basically a fancy way of saying, well, all the waste that we have, we're not going to really use in the steak, so we're going to cook it and we're going to use it for a ravioli filling. We're going to use it for, for something. And it's actually a very good piece of meat because it has all that fat running through it. When you're cooking meat for a very long time, like a short rib, an off tabuca, something like that, you want a lot of fat in it, you want a lot of interconnected tissue. But when you're just roasting something whole or grilling it, you want less. So basically, we're going to just remove this part right here, which is called the chain. This part here is also is called the silver skin. We don't want that either. So we're going to take that off. And you can actually, we'll get in there with a knife, but you can really just pull it off with your hands if you want. So we'll kind of come in here, start off pulling off all of this extra fat cap here. Right down here, you can see, see how this part right there? It's just a solid, lengthy piece that has a lot of fat going on. So we're gonna remove this. And this is the piece that we would cook for a long period of time, um, called the chain. And if you do clean this, I would not throw this away. I would put it in a pot with some carrot, celery, onions, maybe a little beef broth, and cook it for about four hours, and it'll fall apart like the best pot roast you've ever had. So basically, we're gonna then, now, if we were going to cut this into filet mignons, what we would do is we would take this piece right here completely off, right here, and then we'd use that as one steak. We'd actually roll it and tie it. But what we're going to do for this class is we're going to rub this guy down with some herbs and some garlic and roast it whole. If you have a dinner party or something like that, I recommend doing it. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more forgiving. You could put it in there. It's going to take us about 27 minutes at 500 degrees, and uh, we're going to...